Abu Dhabi's Hindu temple is rising fast in the desert of the UAE capital. Carved stones are being brought from India and fitted into its facade. The foundation is complete and work is underway to build the first floor. The temple is expected to open in the year 2024 and welcome up to 25,000 visitors a day. This has completely done with a hand carved and in the different villages we are uh, taking this stone to all those villages where these craftsmen are available and accordingly we are doing. You can see how this carving has been done integrated. This column piece has been open from all the sides so it's very difficult and all has been done with manually. The temple's exterior will have pink sandstone from Rajasthan in India and the interiors will feature white Italian marble. More than 30,000 carved stone pieces will be used in the structure. The bottom one, we can see it's a granite and above that we have used the pink stone. Actually, all we have individual piece and once it arrive here, we fix it like a jigsaw puzzle. This carving is mainly we have take the design of flora and flowers. As you can see in this, you can feel uh, find out that there is a, some a blank portions we have kept. Okay, so over here we are going to place the idols. We also have include the stories of each devas. Okay, like if we have the shrine of uh, Bhagwan Sri Rama, Lord Rama, then starting from its uh, his birth till what he has done, his entire life we have carved okay in the facade of that shrine construction is underway in abu murekha in abu dhabi which is near sheikh zad road connecting dubai and abu dhabi built without using steel and iron it will be the first traditional hindu stone temple in the uae the builders have used special techniques to make sure the structure is strong and resilient this is a, a structural column Okay, which we are going to place in the temple. We have created this hole and we are using this shear keys pin, you can say. It is also made up of stone itself. Okay, so the half portion will go like this and the other piece is, is also having the same cavity. Okay, and it is going to place exactly on top of this. So while is there any seismic movement, it, it has got interlock. The temple will have seven spires, one for each emirate. Volunteers want to make sure the community is involved during the temple's construction. Every Sunday over here at the under construction site of the temple, the people from various communities in here from India and from abroad visit the temple and they participate in the brick laying ceremony. The temple complex will spread over 55,000 square meters. It will include a large amphitheater, an exhibition hall, a library, a food court, majlis and two community halls with a total capacity of 5,000 people. Another 53,000 square meters will be used for parking with room for 1,200 cars, 30 buses and two helipads. <laughs>